Jen for Redmond has run foster homes for the past three years. She fostered one child who's gay. Redmond realized the number of LGBT kids in foster care system is increasing, and many face unique challenges. They struggle with being accepted. They struggle with fitting in. So if you have a transgender male to female, but they're forced to live in a male dominant group home, and at times are made fun of, get bullied. So she decided to run a home just for LGBT foster children. It's it's a big family, so everybody does stuff together. We have barbecues, we go on vacations together. So we make sure to create that environment, and not make it feel like. A group home, like you're just coming here to stay, and that's it. We want them to accept the house as their own. And she saw those children change a lot. They weren't used to an environment that they came into where it's open arms and we're here and we're supportive and we're loving you. But as we've been working with them and they've been with us a lot longer, you can really see a change, and some of them have really opened up. The Arizona Department of Child Safety says they work to make sure case workers are trained to help LGBT kids. But it's up to the foster children whether to reveal their sexual orientation. If a child simply does not want to talk about that. Uh, does not want to get into that aspect of of his or her life. We certainly would respect that.、Uh, we do not force anybody. Redman plans to help future foster children to be more comfortable about sharing who they really are. Is to do some sort of video and what it's like to be an LGBT kid. I think maybe that would give people a chance to identify themselves. In Phoenix, Jia Huijia, Kuangkai News.